hi everyone welcome to my channel if your job is to become or sorry if your dream job is to become a data analyst or a data scientist then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream myself I'm Malu Prasad I'm a mentor for data science and analytics I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the lead code platform all the code solutions for the questions which are available in lead code platform for sql are there in my github repository the link for that is available in the chart description below and also i have segregated the channel into five playlists which are easy medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the questions and the premium subscription of questions of github as premium playlist and all the 230 questions have segregated into one single playlist and ordered by their sequence number now let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today the question which we are trying to solve it today is question type medium question number 1193 monthly transactions one let's see the question it is already asked in wayfair and wish some u.s startups okay they are given a transaction table which is consisting of id column country column state column amount transaction where id is their unique column Okay, the state column is either of April or decline. Okay. Write an SQL query to find for each month and country the number of transactions and the total amount, the number of approved results and the total amounts written the re result table in any order. Okay, let's see this table. okay what they are asking is for the combination of year and month not for example 2018 12 2018 12 18 and 19 both come under same year same month they are asking for the combination of year and month what are the respective things for example here you can write it as 2018 12 2018 12 and 2018 this is for more year 2019 01 and last one is also 2019 01 they are asking for the combination of this new date and the country here you can see there are two rows with the same subsection date and us okay that will be the first combination second combination will be us and the 2019 01 fourth uh, the last final combination will be germany de and 2019 01 if you see month is there Similarly, three things are there. If you see, there are two rows for this, one row for this, and one row for this. Similarly, approved count. How many come? Um, wait a minute. Okay. How many approved count are there? Among these two rows, only one row is there. Okay. This is one row. This is one row. Transaction total amount will be sum of all the rows 3000 this is 2000 this is 2000 and approved total amount means among the total amount what is that amount where is only approved 1000 for first 2000 2000 this is what they are trying to do let's try to find it out let's write the code for below if you see below instead of extracting this we can use a left function 2018 consists of 4 hyphen 1 and month column will be 2 so if you can extract by the first 7 things we can get anything let's say from transaction table 
group by left of transaction date comma 7 comma country let's select the both the things in select statement also right you got the things we got the same month okay let's call it as month okay we got the same month and we got the same country now what we want we want number of transaction counts means number of ids count of distinct ids they're calling as trans count let's run it okay first three things we got it and they are trying to order by month i think okay you can return the table in any order so the order doesn't matter what is the fourth one approved count if you see among two th this rows only one is approved so the simple logic will be whenever it is approved let's call it one whenever it is not decline uh, not approved call decline let's call it zero and we can do the sum of that thing comma sum of case when state equal to approved then one else zero okay end it call it as a prude count see we got the trans count column a prude count column now what we want total trans trans total means sum of all the revenue what is the revenue column name here the amount sum of amount as uh, what is that trans total amount comma approved means only when it is equal to approved only we need to do, do that so instead of one we can keep the directly keep the amount comma sum of case when state equal to approved then sum the amount else sum zero end it call it as approved total amount okay i think they are trying to order by order by month Okay, after that country they are doing. I think country in descending order. Okay, why we are getting a uh, approved count as zero some case when state is equal to approved then one else zero we should be getting that let's 
let's see where is the mistake where state is equal okay f2 we are given space here okay it got accepted let's submit it okay our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and try to share it with your friends and colleagues who are also preparing for the data analyst or data scientist interview it will be of great help to me and to your friends also and try to complete all the 230 questions which are there in my channel it will help you become a great data scientist or a data analyst thank you very much